I'm really very sorry. The costumes have been done, there's posts up everywhere. For a play that's meant to be on in less than a week. We haven't got a Romeo. Oh, yes. thank you all very much. Once again, I apologise. There's nothing I can do about this. Now, turn to Juliet, please, Chesney. And take a hand. Use the book if you need to, Chesney. Uh, sorry. Chesney, are you OK? Chesney, if this is too much for you... I'm going to have a word with him, miss. OK. We'll, um, take a break, everyone. <laughs> Gary Hobbs. Yeah, don't know you. Third-year seniors round the back of the science block ring any bells? Hayley McGee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am again now. Oh, of course, I remember you. First time I took an interest in biology. So, uh, how long have you been in London? About six months now. Crashing with a mate in boat. What brings you here, then? I suppose you could call it a celebration. My divorce came through today. Oh, now. Yeah, I've got my own place over the road, haven't we? And why are you telling me? Dunno. Maybe thought you could do with a change of scenery. Maybe I could do something to eat. Mm. Now you come to mention it, I am feeling a bit peckish. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! What's going on? I, I thought you said you was going to be out all day. Who's he? I'm his father-in-law. This is my house. You said you lived on your own. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> Afternoon, Doctor. Well, hello. <laughs> Please, take a seat. Thank you. Drink? Drink? Uh, no, thank you. That probably is a little early. So, tell me, what led you to choose me, I wonder? I've just moved into the area and I wanted a doctor. Wanted a doctor? Lawyer, accountant, no good to you? <laughs> Not really. No, very wise. <laughs> so, tell me something about yourself. Well, I've had this bladder problem about two months now. Ooh. I know, it's not very nice. No, and hardly the first thing I'd mentioned. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, moving on. Would you like me to undress? Really? Well, I'm assuming you want to take a look. Oh, God, yes. Well, then you can tell me what you think. Right. That would be brilliant. Shall I go behind here? Absolutely. In fact, why am I wasting time since we know what we both want? What are you doing? I'm undressing, then you can take a look and tell me what you think. How dare you! From me, you animal! How did you get on? I'm sorry. We had no. Uh, I'm a friend, well, more a sort of acquaintance. Ah, uh, yes. I think she mentioned you. No, too flattering, I hope. She's a very single minded lady, isn't she? That's a polite description. Has she told you she can't get upstairs on her own? She didn't need to tell me. I can't think how she's managing without proper support. Goodwill of friends and acquaintances, that's how. You're certainly saving the NHS a tidy sum. There's all sorts of schemes she could benefit from. Edna don't believe in benefits. It's either a God-given right or else it's charity. I'm trying to persuade her the wisdom of having a commode. Went all poor face, did she? If I were you, I'd go ahead and order it anyway. I can't force her to use one. I can. Sometimes folk need to be told what's good for them. They've taken me wallet. Was there much in there? All I had. About hundred pounds. My daughter and I have just moved here, you see. Dave and Sandra have kindly let us stay. I was about to open an account and pay it all in. Anything else? My engagement ring. The only bit of jewellery I had of any real value. There you go, Maggie. Thanks. <laughs> Hiya. What can I get you? A whiskey, please. Make it a double. <laughs> 